Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. We've got a fun one for you today if I roll down this page. We've got a little full width parallax section down there. As I roll up the page here, little title's going to pop up, then some images, and then a button. And of course, you can click on these images, light box them out. Go down, click on the learn more button, take people to where you want. When you roll up, it's just going to disappear at the top. If you roll back down, it's going to do the opposite. Title's going to disappear button. That's a really eye-catching thing to have on your site. Now, because of my screen recording software, I'm not sure if this is going to look a bit glitchy, but it's actually very smooth on the regular site. So let's get started. There's no coding involved in this today at all. It's all done with the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to roll down. And we'll delete this section. OK, well, let's add a new section. I'm going to hit the little blue button to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Inside my section, I'm going to put a single column row for our title. I'm just going to use a text module for this today. Also, you put whatever title you want to put in yours. OK, before I go any further, let's actually put the image behind so we can make these things the way we want to. So I'm going to save this. I want to go into my section. Blue tab. Under content is always where you'll find background. I'm going to click on background. We got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask. And you can combine several of these together. Today I'm just going to use an image, but I'm going to make it parallax. So let's add a background image. And I guess I'll use the same one as I did before. Just select it, hit upload image. And there it is. At the moment, it's just a regular background image there. But if we look below, we've got a little use parallax effect. If I switch this to on, we've got true parallax. And that means the background image is going to move at a different rate from our foreground image. Well, we've got CSS parallax, which is also known as fixed background, which means the background image is going to stay exactly where it is. That's pretty dramatic. I do like that and use it quite a lot. But for this one today, I'm going to use the true parallax. OK, well, there's our little section. We can edit it further in a while. Let's go back into our title and make it the way that we want it. Little dark tab for the module. I'm going to go over to my design, to my text. I'm going to make mine white in color. I think I'll make it bold. Let's capitalize it and make it a lot bigger and pop it in the middle. We roll down a bit. We've got our text size here. Make it whatever size works for you. And let's roll down a little bit more and I'm going to pop it in the middle. Depending on your image, you might want to put a bit of text shadow behind it just to lift it off a little bit more. But that's actually going to work for me. Great. Well, let's save that. Let's add another row and we can add our little images or whatever you want to add. You can add little modules, whatever you want here. I'm just using images for this example. I'm going to put three columns in this particular row. And let's add an image. We'll use that one. There it is right there. For the link, you can link it to anywhere you want here, same as any other module. Always best practice if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, open it in a new tab. That way your site will stay open. For mine today, I'm going to open it in a light box. That means when they click on it, it'll pop out into a larger version. Great. Well, let's save that. I'm going to duplicate it a couple of times. Just use the two little squares there. One, two. Drag them over the way you want them. Doesn't matter which one you drag, they're all identical. And let's just switch out those images. Let's use that one. And switch out this one. Let's use that one. 
Great, so we got our little three images there. And let's add a little call to action button down below. So I'm going to add a new row again, a little green button. This one, I'm going to put a single column in. And let's just use a button. Put in what you want your button to say up here. Put your button link in down below where you want to take people. Obviously, same best practices apply here also. And if you want to, you can custom design your button. I'm happy with mine to be just like that. Alignment wise, I do want mine in the middle. If you want to customize your button, just go into the button down below here. Flip the little switch to use custom styles button. I'm going to leave mine as is today. Great. Well, let's save that. We've actually got a nice little parallax section there. If I roll down the page. Well, that's really good looking. And I apologize if it looks a bit glitchy because of my screen recording software. But that really works nicely for me. But to make it even more eye catching, we're going to have that fade in and out. We're going to have these shrink and grow and we'll have the button fade in and out. So let's do that. I'm going to go into the row here. Green tab. I'm going to go over to advanced. I'm going to go down to scroll effects. And we've got some scroll transform effects here. So we've got vertical motion, horizontal motion, fading, scaling, rotating, and blurring. I'm going to use several of these today. Let's use a vertical motion on this one. I'm going to hit the little switch to enable vertical motion. As you can see, it's flipped it up the top there. I actually want this, if I roll this page down, I want this to not be seen. So I want it to be down the bottom here when the parallax section comes into view. So I'm going to change that from 4 to 20. And it's not there as it's coming into view. And it's coming up as we roll up, which is great. But I don't really want it to be in view until it gets almost 70% of the screen. And what we've got here is a viewport bottom, which is the bottom of the screen here, and viewport top, which obviously is the top. And you can decide how things work for that viewport system. So I'm going to move this up to about 70%. And you can see that title moving as I'm moving this. Well, I want it to still be zero when they get there. And when it gets up the top, I want it to be zero too. I don't want it to float up the top here. So I'm going to change that minus four, which is the default to a zero. Now, if we roll up the page, that title is going to pop up there and stay just at the top of our little parallax section there, just where I want it. When we roll back down, it's going to disappear back down again. Fantastic. Well, let's save that and decide what we want to do with the images here. Well, for this, for what I did earlier, I had them actually fade in from nothing or actually shrink from nothing and grow to their normal size when they got up to the top here. So to do that, we'll go into our little row, over to the advanced, back down the scroll effects. Now for this one, I'm going to use scale, which makes, which means bigger or smaller. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to hit the enable button. Now down the bottom here, I really don't want to see them at all, so I want them 0% of their size. So if I put a 0 in there, you'll see they shrink down. But if I go further down, they're going to be nothing. But I also want them to be pretty much 0, around 40%. So I'm going to drag this down to about 40%. I'm going to put a 0 below there, because I still don't want to see them. And as you can see, or as you can't see, because they've kind of disappeared, they're no longer there. So we've got no title, no images as we're rolling up. As we roll up, I'm going to start to get bigger. And I really want them to be full size around about the 70% mark. So around about here, I want them to be full size or around about there, perhaps. So I'm actually going to drag this viewport top down to about 70%. And you can see them growing as I do this. So they're going to start off invisible and they're going to start growing, fading in, fading in fading in, they get to the top, they're going to be full there, and we can click on them, their light box. Great, well last is our little button here. What do we want to happen with that? Well at the bottom I don't want to see it at all really, and I want it to sort of fade in at about 40%. And 
and then be clickable when it gets up here. I mean, it's going to be clickable all the time, but I just don't want to see it. So we'll go into this row again. I'm going into this row. You can actually do these in the modules themselves. I find it works better with the rows, but that's entirely up to you. Again, over to advanced scroll effects. This time I'm going to use the fade. I'm going to hit the enable button. Now let's roll this down to the bottom. Okay, at the bottom, obviously I don't want to see it at all. You see it's sort of partially faded out there, but I still want it to be invisible until it gets to about 40% up here. So let's drag this down to 40%. Remember these percentages I'm talking about is 40% up the screen. That would be 100% at the top, 0% at the bottom. And I'm going to put a zero in there. It should disappear. There we go. Then when I roll up, when it gets to about 40%, you'll see it start fading in. But I want it to be fully faded in by almost 50%, sort of halfway up the screen about here. So again, I'm going to drag the viewport top down to about 50%. And you can see as I'm doing it, it's actually fading in. And obviously, you do what works for you. How's that? Then if we roll down, it sort of disappeared. And that should do it, really. It's starting off with our parallax section coming up with nothing in it. As we roll up, that title is going to appear, float up the top like a movie title. Our images are going to grow. And our button's going to fade in there. So if you've done everything correctly now, let's save our changes. We'll save the page changes. Check it on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. Here we are on the page. If we start to roll down, there's our little parallax section starting to feed in. Our title is going to pop up. Our images are going to pop in. And then the button's going to fade in when it gets up to the top here. And you can click on your images, put them in a light box. And hit the call to action button. If you roll on up, it's going to just disappear up the top. And if you roll back down, it's going to do the opposite. The button's going to disappear. Images are going to start to shrink. And the head is going to disappear down below. Like I say, that's a really eye-catching little thing to have on your site. That's going to get people's attention really quickly, which is what you want. Now, I apologize, like I said before, if it's a little bit glitchy because of my screen recorder. But it's actually a really smooth effect once you look at it on the website. So there you go, guys. Here's how to create a full width parallax section with scroll effects. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.